So if you have yourself the brand new Meta Pro, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some settings that Meta themselves really wish you didn't know about that you could do on your Meta Pro headset that you should enable in the settings to really allow you to get the most out of this device. So let's go ahead and begin right now. So the Guardian, once you set up the Guardian, you know that the Guardian is pretty cool. It makes sure you don't bump into anyone, prevents you from creating property damage to yourself. It's an overall great safety feature. But if you have access to like a warehouse, a cafeteria, or just a big, large amount of open space, you may want to consider taking off the Guardian. If you want to go ahead and do that, you totally can. Now to disable Guardian, you will be required to enable your device to be in developer mode. Now there will be a link in the video description down below of a video tutorial how to do so, but I also have included the link to where you can actually go into the developer link right here and log in and create a developer name. It's free to do. It doesn't charge you anything. You just link it up to your MetaQuest account. Next, you want to go ahead and launch the MetaQuest app Go into menu and in the devices, select your VR headset. So mine's already connected. Scroll down and look for developer mode right here and just go ahead and enable, enable that. Mine's already enabled, so I'm not gonna go ahead and disable that. But now you gotta hop into your VR headset. Once your VR headset rebooted itself, from this menu, what, you, what you're gonna have to do is go into quick settings, tap the little gear icon on the top, and then here in the system tab, scroll down to refine developer. And here is where you got to go ahead and enable or disable Guardian. And with Guardian disabled, just go ahead and acknowledge that you're doing what you're doing. You know that you're, you're at risk of bumping into something. But now with this mode enabled, you have the freedom to basically walk around, go ahead and explore this place and have fun. You can do this in games too. So you really can't wander off and see what's around. So that is how you could turn off the Guardian on your Meta Pro and freely roam around, explore the home environment. So that's how you could turn that off. Now the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is make sure you turn off your VR headset. Yeah, I know it's cool you can store this away and it'll automatically go into its low power mode or reserve mode or just auto shut off, but it's not really auto shut off because as soon as you place on the VR headset, it will immediately resume back where you last left off. It's a good habit to actually power, fully power off the VR headset because think about it, this thing has cameras all around. So to give you the best privacy, it's recommended, well, I'll recommend to fully turn off your VR headset to give you the maximum privacy. So make sure you turn that off. And another advantage for, for fully powering off your VR headset is it will not eat up your broadband. So a thing I noticed was my VR headset will automatically update things, download apps and such. So to prevent that to, from giving you a nice 4K streaming experience like on Netflix or HBO or even playing multiplayer games on your gaming console or PC, turn off the headset once you're done using it. It will free up your broadband, giving you the best broadband speed on your Wi-Fi. And also, peace of mind since this thing has cameras all around. Now I featured this next one in my previous video on some cool tips and tricks, but I might as well go over it quickly on this one in case you missed it because that did turn into a very long video, is you could actually record with the built-in recorder on the Meta Pro in full 1080p high definition. So if you're screen recording, instead of recording that ratio of just a square block for like Instagram, you could actually go into the system settings Go into system, go into camera section, and where it says aspect ratio for recording, select 1080p. Now when you're recording, it's at full 1080. This is exclusive to the Meta Pro. Once more, I cover more about those other features in this video. I highly recommend watching after this video where I go over more in depth on every hidden feature that this VR headset has so you can really get the most out of the Meta Pro. Now, if you wish to record everything that the VR headset itself sees, including the pass-through mode when you enable your pass-through settings, I highly recommend checking out or considering installing SideQuest on your PC. And if you like a more in-depth review guide on how to do that, I'll include a link to it as well as an article in the video description down below. The process is extremely easy. I've done a whole dedicated video on how to do this. You could also go ahead and watch it right there. But you need to download SideQuest in order to record everything that the VR headset sees while you're recording because the built-in one doesn't do that. Now, this is not an ad, but 
I do want to give a quick special shout out to Mel Geek for actually providing us and letting us check out their brand new upcoming keyboard. Now this is for my Lego enthusiasts and this is the Pixel. And as you can see right here, literally everything is a Lego block because this keyboard actually is Lego compatible. As you see right here, I have my Lamborghini figurine and I could quickly dock the Lego character on the board, just like so. And the packaging is unbelievable. It's actually really cool. Now they, this keyboard is currently on Kickstarter and will become available later on down the line. But it's pretty cute because even the USB-C cable that connects to this has little Lego bricks. And there's a little slot right here you can actually pop open and use a wireless dongle to connect to your PC as well. And yes, the keyboard itself also does support Bluetooth. So you can actually connect it to your PC via Bluetooth as well. And it has cool little designs that go all the way around. Unfortunately, it's not a backlit, but this is a gasket mechanical keyboard and you can literally customize it. For additional information about this keyboard, check out the video description down below. Let's go ahead and resume where we last left off. Now these new Touch Pro controllers, I got more details about it if you wish to purchase this or pair them to your Quest 2. Yes, these are indeed compatible, and the setup procedure is extremely easy. Just as time of making this video, it's not yet available. It will become available sometime in December. So if you wish to use the new sensors built in in the Pro touch controllers, you can use them on your Quest 2. Now another setting I recommend disabling is the turn off the Hey Facebook functionality. It's just weird. Yes, it's cool you can use some of these commands to actually control the VR headset, but some of these commands are really minor and it only takes a couple of seconds for you to do it personally. So I would personally recommend just turn off the Hey Facebook function because we have Siri, we have Google, we have Alexa. Why do we need Facebook in our life? Now for the Pro Touch controllers, uh, you could take off the strap. And I personally prefer gaming with the strap off. It just feels more fluid in my opinion. But if you have little ones, you want them to try the VR headset, put the strap on. It's really easy to take it off and on. Now the next thing I highly advise not to do with the Meta Pro is ignore the Meta Pro travel case that you could buy separately. This unit itself, come on, it's $1,500. They don't include this in the packaging. There's no need to go with the first party travel case. I highly recommend looking into some third party ones since there's a lot of them out there and available in the market for a better price. So Meta, they no longer need more money from us. Just buy a third party travel case. Now with the external cameras that the Meta Pro has, now a lot of content creators have been using this virtual reality mixed with augmented reality experience where you can actually view your desktop display in AR. This thing is really cool. If you like to go ahead and accomplish this, it's really easy. All you have to do is just launch the virtual works room on your Meta Pro headset. And this is the app that's require you to actually view your desktop in AR. This allows you to actually have three windows open at the same time and literally the resolution isn't that bad. You could easily get some work done here in augmented reality and you could easily change your workspace theme as well if you like to and invite others in your office and works both on Mac and PC and you can also bring your keyboard into augmented reality and the app itself will basically walk you through the whole setup procedure to communicate with your computer of choice. So this is the app that's able to accomplish this three monitor display. And it works extremely well, just does not work with gaming. I tried, but workspace wise, like Excel or multitasking with Windows, it works just perfectly fine. Now, if you're having some issues transferring your in-game recording to your mobile device, if you're on Mac, all you have to download is Android file transfer for Mac. And this will actually allow you to actually physically extract the in-game recording files that you have on the Meta Pro headset and transfer it to your computer's hard drive. I'll have links to this app and the PC version in the video description down below. The Meta headset is using an Android operating system. So very similar to an Android device where you can actually extract files. You could do the exact same thing on the Meta Pro headset. Again, I have a link to that software in the video description down below for both PC and Mac. Now, in case your Meta Pro headset is experiencing any technical difficulties and you're just fed up, nothing's working, it's not responding. You try going into the settings through factory reset it back to normal. If none of that is working, this is an Android device. If you want to have access to the Android recovery menu, you can totally do so. So to get access to this menu, there's two buttons you're going to need to know about. 
you're going to click on the power button and the volume down button. But first you have to make sure that the headset itself is powered off. So once it's powered off by simply just continuing to hold the power button until it's turned off completely. When it's turned off, you're going to hit the power button, but at the same time, tap and hold the volume down button and continue to hold it until you're at this menu where it says USB update mode. And here you have the option to boot device to reboot it back and get out of this menu, device information, factory reset, which will actually reset the entire headset exactly the same way when you first unbox it and power it on for the first time. And you have access to side load updates in case you're having issues. And of course you have the power off button. And this is where you can actually go ahead and factory reset it to restore it back to its original configuration if you're having any issues. This is the way to actually reboot everything back to its normal settings. And you just navigate with the volume button and then just tap power to uh, select. So if nothing else is working, you have that as a plan B backup. Aside from that, there you guys have it. If you're coming from a Quest 2, you may have noticed some of these things are very similar to one another. So you're somewhat of a veteran if you're going from a Quest 2 to the Meta Pro as some of the menus and stuff like that are almost very similar, which I don't mind. It makes it easy for anybody to adapt. It's not until you go into the nitty gritty stuff is where you will see some new digital settings like the screen recording resolution. That's only on the Meta Pro at the time of making this video. But aside from that, now you know some cool settings to definitely adjust to really get the most out of this device and some cool tricks you could do that Meta doesn't want us, the user, to know that we have access to. But other than that, if you got some good useful information out of the video, you know what to do. I greatly appreciate it if you can actually leave the video a like, as it does help me out a lot, and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. And links to everything will of course be linked in the description down below, including that Lego keyboard. But before you click off this video, I highly recommend watching this video over here where I go through all the amazing tips and tricks and some additional hidden settings to definitely check out in this tips and trick video for the, for the Quest Pro. Then that video over there, that's just a video you choose recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.